Good morning, Destiny players, and welcome back to a Titan build. Weird, I know. I am Bladeburger, your local yeeter of all things fiery, and today we take a look at a ridiculously fun Titan build for you to all try out. Make sure to do the stuff the algorithm likes, and let's get into it. To start off, this build is an ability heavy build. It uses all your abilities very frequently and gets them back just as fast. Very strong in lower to mid level content, and can even do solid and high level content. This build is really just insanely fun, and honestly I couldn't stop giggling as I was playing it. So let's take a look at the main exotic used, the Ashen Wake. These Titan exotic gauntlets do a few things. Fusion grenades now explode on contact and are thrown faster and further. Additionally, Final blows with fusion grenades give grenade energy back. A lot of energy. Miners give 25%, majors give 50%, and bosses refill it fully. Through testing, this was per kill with it, not per grenade. So killing three miners gave 75% back, two miners gave 50% back, and so on. Very potent. So let's maximize its power. To get the most out of this build, ability spam is heavy. Now to the weapons, class, aspects, and fragments, and mods afterwards. For weapons, this build is so strong and so ability heavy that we really don't fire a bullet, but if need be, shoot for incandescent stuff, or stuff like Sunshot, Prometheus Lens, or the like. You really don't need them though, it's kinda funny. For class, we're on Solar Titan. Either super works, so pick whatever suits your fancy. For class ability, we're on Rally Barricade for its quicker cooldown to take advantage of the more ability spam. For melee, throwing hammer. It's easy, it's repeatable, and it's free. For grenade, fusion grenade, or rather, pocket fireball. For aspects, we want soul invictus. Solar ability kills, hammer soul impacts, and defeating scorched targets makes a sunspot at the location. Abilities regenerate faster, you gain restoration, and your super drains slower while you're in a sunspot. Enemies also take damage when in a sunspot. The second aspect is Roaring Flames. Ability or Ignition kills increase ability damage for a short time, stacked up to three times. With this, our pocket fireballs can do some insane damage. For Fragments, Ember of Singeing. Class ability recharges faster when we scorch targets. Even if we kill an enemy with a pocket fireball, they're still scorched, so this works. Ember of Mercy. Reviving an ally gives restoration to you and that ally. Don't care about that part, but fire sprites also give restoration with this fragment when we pick them up in addition to the grenade energy that they give. Next is Ember of Resolve. Grenade final blows cure you. I've had a lot of moments where I've thrown a grenade point blank and this fragment saved me from dying. Very good one for grenade based builds. And last but not least we have Ember of Searing. Defeating scorched enemies grants melee energy and creates a fire sprite. Yes, this does work with our pocket fireballs. I tried it on a random dragon the EDZ. It made both a fire sprite and a sunspot so it works. The melee energy we don't care about as much as we have a throwing hammer. Now to the mods. As usual, here's an overview for you to screenshot then leave. Take a gander at it, use your screenshot key, then disappear forever. It's your choice. Choice, choice, choice. On helmet, double ashes to assets. Gain super energy on grenade kills. With only a few pocket fireballs, we can get our super back. It's that quick, rivaling my skip grenade build I showed off last week. We also have harmonic siphon. Rapid weapon kills with an element matching your subclass type generate an orb of power. On arms, grenade kickstart. When you use a grenade, gain grenade energy. Any armor charge you have is consumed to give extra energy, up to 50%. We also have Heavy Handed. Make an armor power when you kill something with a power melee. In this case, Throwing Hammer. We also have Fire Power. Make an orb when you get a kill with a grenade. So we have all our abilities covered and our weapon that we never use. For chest beast, double charged up. Increase your armor charge maximum by 1 per mod from 3 to 5. 1 kickstart and 5 armor charges gives just under 50% energy when we use our grenade, and Ash and Wake covers the rest. We also have a resist mod, yay. On boots, innervation. Gain grenade energy when we pick up an orb of power. We also have better already. Your health begins to regenerate when you pick up an orb of power. Then there's stacks on stacks. If you would gain an armor charge from picking up an orb of power, you gain 2 instead. 3 orbs is all we need to maximize our armor charges, and we can definitely do that. On class item, double bomber. Gain grenade energy when we use our class ability. We also have Reaper. When you use our class ability, the next weapon kill makes an orb of power. No time restriction by the way. So there's the mods, now let's get to the loop. The loop is simple. Use your melee to build up roaring flames, then rain pocket fireballs on your foes. By the time you get to two stacks, you'll have enough orbs and armor charges to start the chain and huck fireballs infinitely, as long as there's enemies to kill. In my testing in the Battlegrounds playlist, I rarely had to fire my weapon, able to throw pocket fireballs as often as I wanted, or bonk them with a hammer. Fun times. 
The synergy with the mods also allows for a quick super. The double ashes to assets is a real help with that as we're able to throw fireballs and gain super energy very quickly from that. It's a very fun build and I'll definitely be using it on Titan whenever I play it. It's really fun, try it out yourself. Also be sure to expect more videos on other classes since I got my Hunter to Pinnacle Light. I have a Warlock one soon that's really fun as well. We have fun here folks. Thank you all for watching, stay tuned for more. Join my Discord. See you all in the next one. Blade Burger out.